how are you guys doing? So today I'm going to be covering several different co-washes or rinse out conditioners that I'm a fave of. Now, I'm not an... I will have to say the past three or four months, I totally changed my regimen. I used to rotate between co-washing, washing my scalp and conditioning. Um, however, I changed that to where I always now, I make sure I cleanse my scalp with a shampoo along with using a conditioner. Um, and then I can, and then I deep condition, excuse me, twice a month. Um, so anyway, you guys, I just want to let you know that I don't exclusively co-wash or there's not any times where basically every wash day I'm using a shampoo, right? I am known for using very affordable products. I don't want to say cheap because I pretend like I'm bougie. Yeah. So I don't, you know, buy anything that's ridiculously expensive. Now, much like my Staples videos, these are not necessarily the best products I have ever used or the best rinse out conditioners, I should say, that I have ever used. Um, and there are honestly some uh, rinse out conditioners that are around the dollar mark, but these stay true to me. And so I try to stay, I try to want to stay consistent with my products because I use so many as far as styling products that with my cleansing products, I try to stick within these six. <laughs> so not in any particular order, we're going to start off with VO5. Now I understand that there are certain areas where you cannot purchase VO5 conditioners. I'm so sorry, girl. VO5 is a very, very, I'm going to use the word cheap. It is a cheap conditioner um, that you can find nearly everywhere here in the United States. I prefer the moisture milk ones um and my tried for true is strawberries and cream moisturizing conditioner and it's the one with the strawberries absolutely love it i use this stuff to pre-poo i use it as um of course as a as a co-wash or a rinse off conditioner followed up by that is our passion fruit smoothie moisturizing conditioner yes very very nice um and then i have other ones here i have an ocean fresh which is okay i have the avocado one that i reviewed on my channel which is honestly the avocado conditioner has been the worst conditioner not a particular favorite one so yeah so moving on we have the garnier fruitis triple nutrition fortifying conditioner with glycerin three oils which includes avocado olive and almond oil now, I will be honest, I probably purchased this the least out of all of the conditioners I'm showing you today. Um, there's no real reason for it. It works, it's a great conditioner, and it's one of the reasons why I'm bringing it up. This is a thicker conditioner than the others. And a lot of the times, I will use this product with a DIY deep conditioner. So check it out, okay? And next up, we have Swab. Suave is my favorite. Suave is it for me. So we have here the Deep Moisture Replenish Hydrating Conditioner. Love it, love this. This next one is okay. I will buy her if she's available. We have the Honey Infusion. This is a shampoo, but a shampoo example, but of course they also have it in conditioner. Again, it's a Honey Infusion Strengthening, it will be Strengthening Conditioner or maybe Moisturizing Conditioner. So this is great too, but Bay for me, which is so funny. This is the one of the few <laughs> Suave products that I have yet to review. Suave's almond and shea butter is it for me. I have been using this conditioner. I can't tell you how long I've been using it for. I use it to pre-poo, I use it in my deep conditioner, and I use it to co-wash. And I buy the 18 ounce, the largest one. Um, absolutely love it. I also love the shampoo, but this is it. This is it, okay? Um, of course, follow up by that is the coconut conditioner by Suave. Now with this particular product, I use this exclusively for pre-pulling and in my DIY deep conditioners. I tend to use this particular one as a pre-pull. However, when I'm running out, she is a close second behind the almond and shea butter, for me at least, okay? And last but not least, we have the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. Um, this product is under, let me just make this 
very clear. All of the products I have showed you up until this one has have been under five dollars. This particular product by As I Am is seven dollars and some change. So everything is very affordable, okay? And this is a nice size, 16 ounces. For me, I could get about two and a half washes out of this. Absolutely love it. Um, it's you're like a traditional co-wash. Now I will say this. I don't feel like my hair when it comes to a product that is a co-wash, okay, I feel like it conditions it conditions more than it does cleanses, okay? But I love this as a again as a rinse up conditioner and absolutely I will use a shampoo um oftentimes before I use this particular product. Um, so again, I just want to reiterate you don't have to break the bank to have healthy hair. You just have to incorporate healthy hair habits and ensure that you are treating your hair with love. I've been using these products for a lot of these products I was using actually while I was relaxed, okay? And then I figured, hey, if it works while I was re while I was relaxed, why not switch over to now that I'm natural? So all of them I continue to use. I have not had any problems. When it comes to shampooing, I typically go in between TGIN and Jane Carter products. So that is it, everyone. Let me know, do you agree with this list? Do you have your favorite co-washes or rinse out conditioners? Leave it down below. I'm, I will be interested to see what you guys, um, what you're using and I may. I may have to try what you're using too. <laughs> so that is it everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.